Blue Ribbon Army Commission has recommended name changes for nine U.S. military bases and posts named after members of the Confederacy. One of those, Fort Hood, the naming commission, recommending General Richard Cavazos. He's the first Latino to reach the rank of four-star general in the U.S. Army. Tonight, we're learning why the commission zeroed in on those names. 25 News reporter Adam Schindler has an exclusive interview with a member of the commission. The National Defense Authorization Act of 2021 established a commission of eight individuals tasked with renaming several U.S. military installations. And there's some set criteria for us to uh, review uh, any uh, item or base or anything named after a somebody that voluntarily served in the Confederacy. One of the bases to be renamed is Fort Hood, and to do that, they reached out to the surrounding community. We uh, went and uh, talked to the uh, military leadership, uh, from uh, officers and NCOs, uh, also the civilians on the base, and also the civilian community to get an insight on what they thought or what the name should be. Together, they came to recommend that Fort Hood should be renamed after the first Hispanic American four-star general and former commanding general of Fort Hood, Richard E. Cavazos, something one Fort Hood veteran sees as a great choice. I like the candidate because of his of his strong military history. I like the fact that he did a lot on Fort Hood, and especially because he was a Fort Hood commander. Knowing the knowledge behind that he's, he was a Fort Hood commander, I think he's deserving of it. General Cavazos was not only a military pioneer for the Hispanic community, he was a true Texas native. I grew up in Kingsville on the King Ranch, sixth generation Texan. He went to Texas Tech. Uh, he served uh, Two times at Fort Hood, with the last time being the uh, the I Corps commander, uh, three-star general. Uh, he's a hero. Even though veterans like William Brummett, who retired from Fort Hood, like the choice, for them, it will only be the letters on the sign that are truly changing. It will always be Fort Hood. Um, 33 years here at Central Texas, it will be Fort Hood. Stayed here for, it's going to be Fort Hood forever. The new names of Fort Hood and the other installations still need final approval from the Secretary of Defense and Congress before they are officially changed. At Fort Hood, Adam Schindler, 25 News.